If I had the opportunity to do college over, I definitely would. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in. Please feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. And if you are not new here, thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my videos. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I am going to be talking about college yet again. Um, I think like maybe my second video I made when I first started getting serious about YouTube. Um, I talked about life after college and I guess um, how I was like currently doing after I had just graduated. So this video is going to be um, a little bit differently. I'm going to talk about my actual um, regrets and why I feel like it's not, well, for me, I don't know um, if it was necessarily worth it. So, honey. I always knew, you know, that I wanted to be a news reporter even, well, really starting in high school is when I wanted to be a news reporter. Um, we had classes on it, so I took classes, you know, doing it, making videos and everything, so I enjoyed it. Um, so at that time, I just knew that I wanted to be on camera. So that's what I stuck with. Nobody forced me to go to college. Um, I just feel like it was kind of expected of me to go to college because it was like, okay, what school are you going to, you know? So, no, I wasn't forced to go to college, but I feel like it was expected, you know, for me to go to college. I went because I wanted to go. Um, I wanted to get out of my city. You know, I was tired of being there. I just wanted a new change in scenery, a new change of, you know, environment. Of course, I went to, you know, learn more about what I wanted to do in life, which was journalism and to be a news reporter. I did go to MTSU, Middle Tennessee State University. Um, you know, I enjoyed going there, but if I had the opportunity to do college over, I definitely would. Really, all my life, I have been an introvert. Um, you know, I don't mind interacting with people, but as far as being outgoing, I'm not outgoing at all, uh, still not. And I wasn't while I was in high school or college. So I feel like when you get to college, that's something that you have to kind of change about yourself in a way because, you know, getting to know people, you know, opening up, being a little bit more outgoing, that's how you are able to, you know, get more opportunities. So I feel like that's one of the things that I did not do. Um, I think after my sophomore year, I was like, okay, girl, you need to go out and meet new people, make more friends. So um, I didn't really do, I mean, you know, I might've did it a little bit, but I didn't do it as much as I should, especially with my degree, like journalism, honey, that's what it's all about. It's all about interviewing people, all about talking to people, meeting new people on a regular basis. So um, don't ask me why I chose to do journalism and then I'm this big introvert person. I do love interviewing people. I love being on the camera, but as far as making those connections that I needed to make, I don't feel like I did. Um, one of my professors was uh, Chris Clark. So I didn't, know, I didn't know who he was, honey, when I first you know, got to MTSU, but apparently he was like a big news reporter back in the day for, um, Nashville so that I think that was kind of cool just getting to work with him um I did like the opportunities that MTSU had for um people who had journalism degrees because they had um you know their own news show and everything so I think that was really good I worked for the school newspaper I think for like one or two semesters I don't think um I did our news program for long I think I was I probably did it for like two years um, and then an incident happened and I got frustrated and I just didn't want to do it again. So um, I think I should have put that frustration to the side because clearly this is something that could help me in life, you know, um, help me learn more and craft, you know, my little journalism stuff and craft my passion more. So that's one of the regrets that I do make is just not being more outgoing, um, not making those connections that I needed to make. Job wise, I know, you know, I don't know if some people think that you're guaranteed a job when you graduate college, um, you're not. I knew that going in that I wasn't going to be guaranteed a job. Um, 
I also did not start applying for jobs until like my last semester of college. So um, I think that's probably something I might've messed up on. As far as finances go, um, I did not graduate high school with a bunch of scholarships. So of course, when you don't get scholarships, you have to take out loans, which is what I did end up having to do. Um, one of my regrets that I do wish I would have did was start out um, small, like start out at a community college, get my basic classes done in community college, and then go off to a university because literally the first two years I spent just having regular classes. I didn't really get into my real um, uh, journalism classes until like my junior year. So um, I think, you know, just starting off at a community college for those first two years definitely would have saved me a bunch of money. My senior year, I think I honestly started to kind of lose passion for journalism as well. Um, I was able to talk to a few, um, you know, reporters that worked in Nashville. They did let me know up front that, you know, that field is very um, unfair. You know, you don't get paid a whole lot of money starting out. The hours alone, you know, you have to work holidays. So, you know, if you have a family that's hard on your family, you know, them not being able to see you that much. So, you know, I still told myself that I was passionate for journalism, even after he told me that. But um, even when I graduated, I was still trying to apply to places. Um, I was so desperate at one point, I literally told this one place that I would work for them for free. Still have not received an email back from them. But anyway, that's just how desperate I was to get a job. But, um, you know, I did kind of start getting discouraged after the first few months after I graduated and I did not have a job. Um, but then, like I said, I started just losing my passion. Um, I just learned that journalism was not my like real passion because, you know, like I said, I do love interviewing people. I love hearing people's stories, but you know, it's just so much work that you have to put into. And then it's like, you're not really, you are rewarded because you get to see your story on TV. But to me, you know, the stress that you have to deal with, meeting the deadlines, you know, I don't want to be stressed out all my life about, you know, a job that's supposed to feel like my career and, you know, that's not supposed to feel like a job at all. So that's um, something that I had to think about as well. You know, when I graduated with that degree and everything, it's like, okay, do you really want this? Um, cause you know, he said, if you're not passionate about it, you don't need to be doing it. And I, and I understand why now, because, you know, which of course, you know, when I first graduated college, I wasn't pregnant, but think about me trying to get stories, trying to meet deadlines. I will hardly see my child to be honest. Um, and I don't, I just don't think I could deal with that. You know what I mean? So, um, that's another reason I kind of just lost my passion in journalism. I do enjoy writing. So it is a lot that I can still do with writing. Um, but you know, I'm just glad that nobody made me go to college. I met so many people that were forced to go to college. They didn't even want to be there and then they, you know, regretted it. So it's like, if you're gonna force me to go to college, I hope you plan it on paying for it, you know? And then I met some people that are like, I'm only here because, you know, my parents are paying for it and blah, 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 which that's still not a good reason to go. Because not only financially, you know, can college be hard for people, but mentally, it can be hard, you know, it's draining, you know, doing work all the time. It's just a lot, you know, for somebody to take on. So um, I don't like when people pressure their kids into going to college because college is not the only way to be successful. It's honestly not. Um, it's plenty of people that did not go to college that are still very much successful. So, um, you know, when my child gets old enough to make that decision, I'm not gonna pressure him. I'm like, honey, it's whatever you wanna do. As long as you out here, you know, making something out of yourself, do what you want to do, you know? Um, I don't think that should be pressured onto your child. Somebody not having to, you know, you could have a degree and somebody without a degree, you know, it's just, sorry y'all, I had to go do something really quick. But anyway, um, another thing too, like um, I sent in my demo reel, which, um, you know, if you don't know, is a reel of all the different news stories that you've done uh, just kind of combined um, in one video. So I sent that in to a reporter and they were like, basically they said that I didn't have enough negative news. So that like, um, every time I did go out to do a story, 
the majority of my stories had to be like negative. I wanted to focus on more of, you know, not so negative stuff. That's fine. That I feel like it's fine to throw in a negative news story every once in a while, but reporting on somebody getting shot or something bad happening, you know, to somebody or something, I did not want to have to report on that all the time. So after that person was like, oh, you need more negative in your demo reel, I was just like, this is not what I want to focus on. Like when I turn on the news, that's the reason I don't watch the news so much because it's so much negativity, especially with Corona. Like it was back to back to back to back to back. So, you know, I think it's okay to bring a little bit of positivity. So that's another reason I lost my passion. And you know, as a news reporter, honey, you literally have to go out and like report on people dying. Like you have to be on the scene. You might see a dead body and then you have to sit there and interview those people, family members. It's like, hey, I know your family member just died. Sorry for your loss. Um, but can you guys uh, answer a few of my questions? I That's just hard for me. And then you have to stay neutral, you know, on every story that you do, you have to stay neutral. I watched one thing, um, one, I don't know what it was, some documentary, I think, where this girl had to interview these white supremacist people. And honey, she came up in there, they had all these loaded guns around her, like, I think kind of trying to do like an intimidation thing because um, she was against, you know, what they stood for, but she still had to get the story. So you, you know, you can put your life in danger sometimes too. You know, some reporters go overseas to do stuff, honey, they get killed just for reporting, you know, the story. So you taking a risk too sometimes depending on, you know, what your story is. So, you know, I didn't want to have to report on negativity all the time. So that's another reason why I lost my passion. And I don't think I could go to bed every single night knowing that I've just seen a dead body, knowing that I just saw somebody that was, you know, injured real bad, knowing that I just had to interview somebody whose, you know, family member died and stuff like that. So I don't, I just don't think I could do that. So that's another reason I lost my passion for journalism. Um, also, this video is not to discourage anybody from going to college. This is just my experience. I don't regret going to college, but um, one thing I do regret is just, well, not regret, but I just don't like how everybody seemed like everything is just supposed to be, you know, glamorous after you get that degree. Or so many people think, you know, Oh, once you got a degree, honey, you can get a better job. No, you can't. Because I had a degree and was working jobs, you know, working the same job, getting paid the same amount as somebody who didn't have one. So um, I've learned that degrees really don't matter. I literally, when I was interviewing for uh, one place, they told me that a degree didn't even matter. Like, so, you know, I, it kind of just be like, dang, I did four years of school, four years of stress, four years of, you know, mental breakdown sometimes for no reason like it you know wasn't even worth nothing so sometimes i do think about going back to get my master's but i don't even know where i would go and get my master's for so um you know i'm just gonna continue living life i'm just waiting to see you know what comes my way like i said i do like writing so i do feel like i can do something with that as well um i think that um a lot of people should just do two year you know at a community college, just do their first two years at a community college. Cause literally you just doing basic courses those like first two years. So you saving a bunch of money if you just do it, you know, through community college. So, um, you know, I hope this video helps somebody. I don't know, like I said, this is just my experience. Um, so, you know, comment down below how your college experience was. Do you have any regrets? You know, do you think you should have went? Do you think you shouldn't have went? So let me know in the comments and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.